envelopes. The definition is a curve joining successive peaks of a modulated wave. There's the soft, smooth entry, the slow decay, the long sustain and long release. Hi, and welcome back to Get Modular, where Get Jervis gets modular. I'm Jason Jervis. This is the Beginner's Guide to Modules, and we are looking at our third instalment here today, envelopes. The definition of an envelope is a curve joining successive peaks of a modulated wave. The modulated wave in our world is the oscillator, which is going through a filter and will then be sculpted with attack, decay, sustain, and release. So let's have a little listen to what attack, decay, sustain, and release does. So, that's a very kind of basic wave. So attack is the time your sound takes to come to its full volume. Okay, so that's either a slow or a fast thing. This is set to fast, so it's instant. You press the key, you get the sound. At 50%, at 100%, so the slowest attack there is. Good for bowed sounds, for soft dreamscape kind of things. Decay is the time at which it takes to for the sound to decay whilst you're still holding down the key. So I'll drop the attack down a little bit so we're not waiting forever. No decay gives you this. So that's basically the shortest decay. 50%. And you can hear the sound trailing off. 100% would be a lot longer, so let's try that. I'm going to take my finger off because that's going to keep going. So let's drop that down to 50%. So. So far, we've got a very triangle looking waveform. Now, we can take the decay and sustain it a little bit so that it doesn't drop off quite so suddenly. So let's bring in sustain to 50%. And that'll now sustain until I release my finger, which brings us to release. So now you've got a triangle with uh, a, a sort of a plateau on the decay, de delaying, if you like, the decay until we release the key. So if I now bring release to 50%, and then we'll have a listen, so. And then I'll release my key now. Release. That really what an envelope does, and that helps you sculpt the sound created by your oscillator and your filter to, to take it somewhere else. That's the ADSR, that's our envelope affecting the volume of our sound. Now we can route the ADSR to multiple places. I'm gonna route it now into the filter and change the characteristic of the filter with the attack, decay, sustain, and release. So this is our basic sound. Just a general envelope. I've got the gate out from our second envelope here, routed to the frequency of the filters. That will modulate the frequency knob. So. <laughs> okay, so that's just a little bit of attack. Everything else is leveled off. So let's add a little bit of uh, decay and release. Last release. More sustain, a little bit of release. More resonance. That lovely Sam filter. Singing, singing for us. Dropping the decay and increasing the attack. Mm -hmm. 
with the envelope, we have some extremes to look at. There's the soft, smooth entry, the slow decay, the long sustain, and long release. And that gives us a very dreamy sound. So let's have a little listen to that. No, we go too far, but I'm gonna go 50% on everything and 100% on the decay. So we get this kind of approach to the amplitude. <laughs> filter a little bit to create a bit of dynamic. And the other extreme, which is short, snappy, good for percussive sound. Bass sound. So that's really everything down. Decay, just a tiny bit of decay. Let's try the sequencer. You can also add a little bit of release to that to give you a more kind of roomy sound, I suppose. That's a bit more like a bass drum, isn't it? Nice snappy envelope. And at the other end of the scale, birds in here. You get what I mean. That's the kind of lengths you can go to and kind of everything in between. This IntelliGel module is, is perfect because it comes with two separate patchable envelopes. So you can get your amplitude or volume and your filter modulated with those ADSRs, which is not a contractible disease, thankfully. As with all modular stuff, there are a ton of really cool things out there. So go and check out what's available. This is your introduction to that. Next, we'll look at LFO, low frequency oscillators, which also can use to modulate the sound sources and interesting things. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and until the next one, get modular.